Can everyone read this? 85 unreasonable results? Yes. So suppose light travels from water to another substance with an angle of incidence of 10 degrees and an angle of refraction of 14.9 degrees. It, says, it asks, what is the index of refraction of the other substance? And part B, that's the reason I want you to go over this. I think there will be enough time. Uh, part B, what is unreasonable about this result? So let me give you a few minutes to work on it on your own, and we will take a few minutes to discuss it before we go into our break. I'm just going to draw figures on the board, but you should draw your own. All right, anyone need more time? OK, so you are given this question. Uh, where would you start to, to try to find out this index of refraction of unknown substance? Give me a name. Yeah, it's not slow. It's, it's not a complicated problem. Um, so let me write down the ones on this side first. So index of refraction of water times this instant angle sine of 10 degrees is equal to the outgoing index of refraction, nx, times sine of 14.9 degrees. Oh, I think I can do this. No, I can't do it. Yes, I can do it mostly by hand. Uh, I realized that these are small angles, which means the sine of that angle is proportional to the angle. And since I'm taking ratios, I don't have to convert it to radians. I can just take the ratios. So <laughs> what um, nx over n water, what nx over n water should be, it should be equal to, let's see, move this over. So sine of 10 degrees over sine of 14.9 degrees, which I'm going to claim is approximately equal to 10 over 14.9, and you can check me if you want. Um, and I can, before I finish the calculation, by writing out the left-hand side, I can see what's going to be unreasonable about it. The left-hand side is going to look like 1 over, not 1, unknown, nx, over 1.33. So for those of you who finished the calculation for nx, what did you get? 0.9, right? What did you find unreasonable about it? Than yeah, yeah, it's less than one. And you, um, mathematically, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, NX of uh, something value, a value less than one, it's mathematically a lot answer. But part of developing your intuition as a physicist and engineer, not mathematician, <laughs> is that you realize when some things are unphysical. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, I'll leave it there. When it comes to index of refraction, there are some more complications you can get into, but I'll leave that for your upper division classes. For the purpose of our class, and index of refraction less than one is a, a sign that something is wrong. So this is something that would never happen in nature physically. Even if this was air or vacuum, this would uh, refract at an angle smaller than 14.9 degrees. And if you're taking the shortcut that I was taking, what you would see is that the right hand side looks like 1 over 1.49. Well, I noticed that the denominator here is smaller. So my numerator must be smaller than 1. And I don't feel comfortable about that. Okay. All right, uh, so yeah, that, that gets about you know, for answer. Part C, which assumptions are unreasonable? Um, yeah, so. Uh, I don't know if uh, there's any assumption you would point out, uh, or inconsistent, that assumption that uh, light travels fastest in, in vacuum. So n can be only equal to 1 or greater. That's inconsistent with the parameters that are given here. 